Oh, what a save! Oh, in! That's brilliant! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch it, once again! Oh, nearly! needed win today to put an end to the draw streak really but obviously we were finding ourselves on after not drawing for months and months and months finally draw at Bristol away and then proceed to you know obviously draw the next three games after that um I could just see it coming you know drawing 10 in a row or something ridiculous after win loss win loss win loss but thankfully um you know that is the last the um that is the first time if i can get my words out in a very long time we have won in what is like the 90th minute at the death of the game i couldn't tell you off the top of my head the last time we've won in the 90th minute obviously you know big goal um at west brom getting that uh last minute diaz goal um to draw the game and obviously, you know, when it's a last minute goal like that, a draw can feel like a win. But um yeah, I mean, brilliant really. Um a mentality shift really from, you know, when we go behind we're done. That is the you know, obviously against West Brom, first time we've come back, I believe, um, to draw a game. Um after going one goal down, first time I think we've ever come back and just at all this season, other than Bristol at home, which, you know, were consolation goals when we were 3-0 down. Um, but, yeah, brilliant, really. Two, two 90th minute goals, and obviously today a much-needed win after dropping points away at Rotherham, dropping points away at Bristol, dropping points home to Wigan. You know, we needed that win today, and we've got two very winnable games coming up. Um, Blackpool at home we have to take the three points but you look at it on paper and you think you know could they do a Wigan come here and you know shit house a nil nil 
Um, I hope not. Um, you know, I think we've got a better record against Blackpool than we do Wigan. Um, but yeah, Tuesday night under the lights uh, on Sky. You know, those aren't the type of games we usually flourish in, to be honest. And obviously, with it being a somewhat local rival, um, and then QPR away on the weekend. Um, another team that since Mick Beal has left, well, even before Mick Beal left, had has just been in downfall spiral really, like Swansea we've played today. Um, but in regards to today, um. A good overall performance. I think we limited them to very few chances. Um, first off, we weren't brilliant by any means, and there were a few boos circusing round uh, Ewood at half time. And I'm not really surprised we didn't do much of naught at all in that first half. Um, but the second half, we came out as we intended to go on from the very get go. You know, way up the pitch, high press. Um, I'm just chucking the ball in the box, seeing seeing what happens, rolling the dice. You know, as much as I I, I get annoyed when we're chucking the ball in the box because there is literally no one there to put it in. You feel, um, you know, Gallagher's not exactly blessed with his heading ability, despite his height. Diaz neither really. You know, he scored that brilliant header last season against Preston at home, yeah. but um, other than that. Yeah, it's he's he, he's not got that many headed goals to his name, has he? Um, but yeah, um, I feel like I feel like we deserved the win. To be honest with you, um, you know, Swansea had a couple chances, but I think it was quite clear they were more than happy with a draw. Coming away to Ewoods, can you blame them? No, not really. Um, but yeah, this is the first time we've took six points off a team, so thank you, Swansea. Um, we we shall definitely put them in the bag and hope that it spurs us on to another to uh, a couple of good results against two very winnable teams. Um, and yeah, just to point of note, obviously Dak going off injured looked like a hamstring injury. Um, was very annoyed. You know, it is. Just so terribly unlucky as soon as he starts to find his feet again, got his fitness back up, started finding the back of the net, comes on, the Sober Thomas puts a good ball in, which gets cut out, uh, which gets cut out rather. Dak puts the brakes on because, uh, you know, obviously he's not getting to it. Um, and the defender is like booted it away. And when he's put the brakes on, his hamstrings just went. And obviously this is why... He didn't start today and there must have been some sort of niggle or something and I think JDT's obviously thought, I'll truck him on, we need the goal. Um, so yeah, massive shame and it, it, it's such cruel, it's so cruel really on him as, as soon as he starts to find his feet again. It seems like he can't catch a break unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's massive now for Diaz to really step up. You know, obviously he's got that goal last game, he really needs to step up now and... Uh, Replace those goals that uh, have now been lost for what will probably be at least a month um, with Dak being on the sidelines. Um, so, yeah, hard luck, I guess. But, you know, there's absolutely no reason why we still couldn't push for a playoff spot in my mind. You know, I think we really did need a striker. But if Diaz can step up and get, us, get him get to 20 goals from now to the end of the season, 20 goals for the season... And we need the other players to obviously start chipping in. You know, it's been a while since uh, a player like Ayala has scored. You know, you're looking at your Buckley's, your Travis's, your Smodic's, your Hedges. Need more goals from these players, really. Um, can't just rely on Dak and Diaz. And obviously now we can't rely on Dak at all. Um, but yeah, even Gallagher. Like, when's the last time Gallagher scored? Um, yeah, need need a few more goals from these players. So, going to Blackpool, confident. Um, you know, obviously they are down there for a reason. Um, but it is the type of game that, you know, you look at on paper and you think, we should turn these over at home easily. But as we've proven, we make hard work out of these <laughs> worst teams, unfortunately. As we're expected to have the ball and break a team down and we just can't do it. As was seen against Wigan at home. 
uh, they came with the perfect plan and frustrated us and they'll happily leave with a point so yeah I imagine Blackpool will look to do exactly what Wigan did um, but you know there's no reason why we shouldn't be confident but it will not be easy by any means and uh, going away to QPR should be interesting but if we can take at least four points from these next two I would be I would be happy with that um, if we can get six obviously I'll be over the moon um, and if we do get six, I think you know there's reason to start believing in ourselves again for playoffs. Need to start obviously picking up more wins now. It's all right saying we've only lost one game this year, um, but look at the points we've dropped against some weak teams in this league. So yeah, on to the next one, and uh, let's hope we can get those points against the Tangerine Army.